So real quick, I wanted to answer a question we received from someone recently. And the question is, does it make sense to get more whole life insurance while I'm young because the rates are lower? That is a true statement in itself. So if you're in the market for whole life insurance and you're just looking to purchase a death benefit, say a $1 million policy, what you will find is the younger you are, the lower the premium will be for that $1 million death benefit. So if you're looking to just buy a life insurance policy purely for life insurance first and cash value second, it can make sense to get as much as you can at a younger age because you'll pay a lower premium. With that said, if you're interested in whole life insurance for the cash value benefit, age does not matter as much. It, it will have a slight impact on the policy, but it's almost always a case where one looks at it and says, all right, like that's not much of a difference at all. Like we're talking 0.1%, maybe 0.3% if I'm looking at a comparison of someone in their 50s or 60s compared to someone in their 20s or 30s. It's very, very minimal. Here's the thing. If you take a someone who's 20 years old compared to someone who's 50 years old and they both buy a life insurance policy just for the life insurance, say it's a $1 million death benefit, they're both buying a life insurance policy, who's going to get the better deal? The 20-year-old individual because that $1 million death benefit will cost much less. The 20-year-old might spend $10,000 per year whereas the 50-year-old individual might spend $30,000 per year. And again, that's if we're price quoting a policy. If cash value is their goal, it doesn't make as much of a difference. And here's how you would set it up. So pretend that the 20-year-old and also the 50-year-old express that they're interested in whole life insurance and cash value is their goal. That's what they are interested in because of the main benefits, safe, liquid, tax-free area to position money. Okay, so they're interested in whole life insurance and they both express how much money they want to pay into a policy. So it could be 10 grand per year, it could be a lump sum of a million dollars, whatever it might be, they're both paying the exact same dollar amount into their whole life insurance policy and cash value is the priority. They both express the death benefit's not important to me right now. I'm doing this because of the cash value. A lot of people feel like that. Almost everyone we work with expresses that. So here's what we would do in a case like that. Both the 20 year old and the 50 year old, we'd set the policy up where the death benefit is minimized based on the IRS limits. So they both have the minimal amount of life insurance, we can get them as low as possible, and we're maximizing the cash value. What you would see in a case like that, assuming their dollar amount, the dollar amounts going into the policies are identical, is the younger individual naturally will have a lot more life insurance, but the cash value will be almost identical to the 50-year-old individual. Would an explanation with numbers help? All right, I'll go through that real quick. So. Let's assume both the 20-year-old individual and 50-year-old individual are going to pay in $10,000 per year just for 10 years. That's a total of $100,000. After that, they're never going to pay another penny into it. So total input, 100 grand, and they're going to do it over 10 years. The 20-year-old, 10K, he makes that payment. The first year cash value, he's got, call it $8,500 available in cash value by year 10. He's paid in a total of $100,000 and we'll pretend that his cash value is $150,000. Got that part? Okay, perfect. So that was the 20-year-old individual. Year one, $8,500 in cash value. Year 10, $150,000 in cash value. Initial death benefit he will have on day one when he starts his policy is $1 million. We'll assume for this example. Again, that's the 20-year-old. Okay. The 50-year-old funds the same $10,000 per year. The first year, he's got $8,500 in cash value. The 10th year, he's paid a total of $100,000. His cash value is also $150,000. It might be one hundred forty dollars to one hundred forty-five. dollars You'll often see a little bit less when starting older, but if you do things right, boy, it'll be similar. So by year 10, just about the same amount of money in cash value, for the 50-year-old compared to the 20-year-old. Here's the big difference. The 50-year-old starts out with a death benefit of $600,000 instead of what the 20-year-old had, 
at $1 million. So both policies were set up for maximum cash value, where they both said death benefit is not my priority. Cash value was the goal. So what we did was solve for the minimum death benefit for both of them. And what you'll find is that the younger you are, the more life insurance you need naturally in order to satisfy that IRS limit. You'll see it referred to as an MEC. It's called a MEC limit with a life insurance policy. But the simple answer is the younger you are, the more life insurance you'll naturally have when starting a policy. Again, when cash value is your goal. So I hope that that made sense. I know it can be a confusing topic. The short answer is if you're interested in a whole life insurance policy and maximum cash value is your goal, it doesn't matter if you start at 20 years old, 50 years old. We have individuals in their 70s uh, that start a policy in their 70s. And again, provided that the policy is truly designed for maximum cash value, you see very, very similar benefits from a cash value standpoint and similar values from a cash value standpoint from start to finish. So I hope this helps. We'll talk to you soon. Reach out if you have any questions at all. Thanks so much for watching. Hey guys, Steve here with IBC Global. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in a whole life insurance policy and you'd like to work with our company in setting it up, please visit our website, ibcglobalinc.com. We would love to work with you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, I hope this helps.